welcome back to the Max Studio YouTube channel. How are you today? It's a beautiful weather out, and I trust that it is the same where you are, but just in case it isn't, do well to stay warm if it is cold, and do well to, um, you know, take cold showers if it is hot. All right, so today is one of those special ones where we're bringing you um, how we made one of our own base book pieces. So this right here, we call him, I'm going to call it, call it a, a him or call it a them because um, both genders can actually wear this. So <laughs> I'll call them um, flage. Flage um, is, uh, uh, you know, coined from a camouflage. Yeah, because uh, it's made from um, dirty green and gray. All right. So we named them flage. All right. So I'm going to tell you in a while why we named it that. But before we go um, on and on and on, are you new to our channel? Do go subscribe. On a weekly basis, we bring you brand new videos um, inspiring you on all of the possibilities of crochet. We walk you through how we made one of our own piece book pieces, or we talk you through how uh, we demystify what one um, celebrity or another wore. So um, yeah, we do all that. We talk everything crochet. We give you tips, tricks on how to make your crochet life a lot easier we have our galleries up on instagram for wedding day apparel you can find those at market city weddings and then for our other um, accessories casuals corporates other apparel you find those at market city models do well to follow do well to like do well to leave a nice comment and do well to share our content all right so what did we do here everything here is single crochet stitches or slip stitches so single crochet stitches or slip stitches all right so the entire body was made from single crochet stitches we made this here first so we started out with a number of 12 uh, chains right 12 chains right there and then created an oblong however we increased this uh, the the one side of the oblong to look like uh, to a, a lot we made the one side of the oblong a lot rounder than the other side while we maintain angles at this part of the of the um of the oblong we turn this one into a well-rounded shape so you at the end of the day you have like a pair so you end up with a pear shape now what are we heading for because you, you have to determine how many stitches it, it takes to get around the individual's head so for an adult male for example for using this yarn weight and the, our five millimeter hook size because that's what we used we realized that uh, to go around the adult male's head we're going to need 60 stitches a total of 66 stitches rather so we walked we increased until we got a total of 66 increase increase uh, stitches so like i said more stitches to be added at this point because you want this part to turn out as an oval while fewer stitches would be put here if at all per row all right so when we arrive at the 66 for an adult head or 60 for a smaller head if as the case may be you now maintain this height right here is going to be, you're going to take into consideration from the crown all the way to around the ear region. So from the crown to the ear region is what you're going to be taking into consideration. You're going to work that. So we needed, I think, about uh, 16 rows to get uh, to the ear point, just above the ear, after the eight rows here. So it took us eight rows to get to our 66 stitches, and then it took us uh 16 rows to get to the ear point and then comes the brim now this brim what are we looking to achieve we're looking to achieve a tree <laughs> so to speak so you notice that it is turned upwards there well while in rest state it is turned upward that's because we wanted it to be able to you know fold at the sides when the individual wears it so that's it so this is the effect we're looking for and so we uh what we did was increased uh, two rows um, and then maintain three rows increase two rows maintain three rows increase two rows maintain three rows and you should be able to get this same effect all right so that's about it really the um the, the, the wideness of the brim is left for you you are at liberty to make this brim as wide as you want it or as uh, small as you want it that is all up to you so this is it that's it really that's the entire hat made so if you want to you can pin this down or leave it as is because uh, this enables you you know open it up when you want to and also for your significant other who's female and probably wants to wear hers this way so you see it turns into an umbrella of sorts <laughs> so it's a sun hat either way yeah sun hat this way and then fedora inspired 
this other way all right yeah the traditional men in my country nigeria down south the southern um east, southern east or you know so yeah, southern part generally they like this type of hat so yeah so that's it that's it uh yeah what else did we do uh, do you have questions because like i said everything here is single crochet stitches oh yeah we surface stitched this part right so that it would give both the wrong side or supposedly the wrong side and the right side the same right look you know if we had ended if we ended on this side you would have had those holes there you know like this one and it would be obvious that it is um the wrong side all right or it will be obvious that that's where the, the row ended but with this uh, surface stitching it sort of uh, rounds it up nicely all right so that's it that's it for flage all right so yeah Thank you for watching. If you have questions, do ask. If you want us to make this for you, ask us in the comments and we will do it for you for a token. On the other hand, if you want the the the, um, the pattern rather than you know us working it for you, yes, we also have that available for you for a token. But essentially, this explanation that I've given here today is really, really easy to follow. But remember to ask your questions if you have any. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.